Early in the program, I showed a map of broadband coverage globally. I want to now zoom in on the United States and look at the coverage there. Look at this, Jessica and everybody. And Jessica, please tell us what story emerges from this image for you. Well, in a single word, I would say incomplete. Mm -hmm. And that's not just because broadband has not reached everywhere in the United States. I think it's also because the data you're demonstrating in that map has some fundamental flaws. It's a map that was developed during the last administration and it's premised on a statistical methodology that I think needs an upgrade. The information there assumes that if there's a single subscriber in a census block, that broadband's available throughout. So in some small rural location, it can mean if there's a household or a business that has service, the map assumes that service is available throughout the town. And you don't have to be a data maven to understand that that likely overstates service. And as a result, I think we have to develop better systems with more pinpoint accuracy because we're never gonna manage the problems we don't measure. And we have got to have a truly honest and accurate accounting of where broadband is and is not for us to tackle this problem in the United States. Well, thanks, Jessica. It sounds like you're assuming the problem is actually worse than that map depicts. Well, President Biden's infrastructure bill originally included $100 billion for broadband infrastructure. That was stepped back to $65 billion after bipartisan negotiations. How and where will that money be used and will it address the big problem that you just described? Yeah, that's a really important point. It is still in the legislative process, so I don't want to get ahead of myself. But I will say this, $65 billion is an opportunity for generational change. I think that is a large sum of money and it is designed to make sure we get to what I call the 100% policy in the United States, which is 100% of our households should have access to affordable and reliable broadband. I think the challenge will come in making sure that all the programs that are in that legislation and all prior programs work together like pieces of a puzzle. So we're gonna have to make sure in the United States to put a lot of effort into that coordination. I know the Federal Communications Commission is absolutely committed to doing that because we really do think we have to set the goal of 100% and make it happen.